Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're embarking on a 16-box journey. It's the Kid Baseball Mixer featuring, yes, the Kid. That's what we're giving away. Where is that thing? Oh, it's over there. Bam. Gem Mint 10. 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Star Rookie. That's awesome. So, we're going to re-randomize everybody's names at the end of the break, and the name on top is going to get that Ken Griffey Jr. we got to do the break itself first. No veteran, common, or paper base will ship. Per usual, there's all the boxes right there. I did a count. They're all here. Big thanks to all of these folks. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, and congrats once again to the people who won their spots in those little select mini box breaks right there. Big thanks to all of these folks here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. And let's roll it and randomize it three and a two, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and five. Five times. After five times, we got Coach Mike McCarthy down to Chris Maxwell's Silver Hammer. Three and a two, five times for the teams. And five, five times. We got the Twins down to the Padres after five. All right, so Mike McCarthy with the Twins, Brian Zeller, Bees, you got my Dodgers, Kenneth with the Rockies, John with the Braves, Johnny with the Marlins, Jeremy with the White Sox, Chris with the Rays, Nicholas, Last Spot Mojo, uh, Angels, nice, Darren, Phillies, Tony with the Royals, Bill with the Red Sox, McCarthy with the Rangers, Dan with the Orioles, Louie with the Giants, Jeremy with the Tigers, Bulldog Fan with the Reds, Brian with the A's, Kevin Smith, Brew Crew, Jimmy Brandt with the Yankees, Chris with the Pirates, Jamie with the Mariners, Kevin Smith with the Astros, Brian Zeller, you got the Nats, Darren with the Blue Jays, uh, Michael King with the Diamondbacks, Brett with the Cubs, Darren with the Indians, Christian with the Cardinals, Jeremy with the Mets, and Chris Maxwell with the San Diego Padres. All right, so let's alphabetize by team right here. And we're going to pause the video and see if there's any trades. And when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. As you can see on your screen, there was a trade. So, Chris Maxwell, you're now up in that Cubs spot here. We'll put T next there for trade so we know that that was part of a trade. And you can, for those of you watching at home, we can see who draws first blood in the trade, too. Brett with the Rays on that one. So, now let's print... Let's rip. Settle in, folks. This is going to be a long one. Where are we going to start? Let's start with some old, let's start with some old Elite. Some 2015 Elite. Is that the oldest box we have? No, 2013 Select is, but we'll, we'll get there. And um, I'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. Just in the interest of time, I'm just going to sleeve the hits and not top load them. But our chipping sorting team will make sure that they're all safely and securely top loaded before they're, uh, before they're sorted out and shipped officially. Now, obviously, for longer breaks, we can kind of get off topic a little bit. I'm watching Utah Lakers right now on ESPN. It's Kobe's last game. Kobe's last game. Last home game? Or was this a last? I forget what this, this was the last, last game. Or if this was Kobe, just Kobe's last home game. But it's a good one. 
It's a good one. It's a great game. Miss Kobe Bryant. R.I.P. Kobe. All right, well, back when Jake Lamb was a rookie in 2015. There's Ken Griffey Jr., Reds edition. We're giving away that PSA 10 Ken Griffey Jr. later tonight at the end of this break. There he is. All right there, that's going to go to someone. So if you have a bad break, you're like, Joe, my break was bad. Not good. No bueno. Still have a shot at this. It was our first autograph. That's Dalton Pompey. 72 out of 75 for, oh, where's my list? I think Darren? Derek, one of the Reddings? Darren Redding with the Blue Jays. So here's the final list right here. There you go. Wednesday, the 27th, Jaspi 16 box, the kid, baseball mixer, random teams. Thank you. Let's keep that over there for now. Matt Barnes, die cut to 32. We'll set those aside over there. We'll get all those sleeved up later tonight. Back. Uh, back to back jacks. Eric Hosmer, Alex Gordon dual relic for the Royals. I have this up on my screen right here. Royals, that'll be for Tony. Tony Covert. Tony Covert Operations. There's Steven Strasburg to 25. And Future Threads, Kyle Zimmer out of 299 for the Royals. It's another Royal for Tony. And there's Collegiate Elite Strasburg to 25. I guess out of 25 and under, I'll also sleeve and set aside. They're 25 and lower. Let's just establish that rule for this break right now. And we got Jorge Soler, that prison baseball design. So Cubs, Chris Maxwell drawing first blood in the break. Although although very long break, we got a, got a ways to go. Joe Maurer to 49. So plenty of time to make it up for the Rays. All right, let's slide this 2013 box out of here. All right, 2013 select, staying back in time. I'll try to go as chronological-ish as possible. We're going to save that Leaf Metal Draft, five-star, tri-star autograph baseball, Inception, clearly authentic, towards the end. We'll get the base heavier stuff out of the way first. And we'll re-randomize everybody's name for that Ken Griffey Jr. This should be a lot of fun. A little nervous about baseball, ladies and gentlemen. About it coming back. Looks like NHL has... I mean, they, they're just, they pretty much have to name the hub cities, right? And NHL is ready to go. They got the deal done. Looks like the NBA is not too far behind. But baseball, looks like they're, they're still... They're still owners and players, still uh, sniping at each other, quibbling. Hopefully they get it done. Otherwise, there'll be no money for anybody, owners and players. I lean on the side of the players, but everyone's just got to compromise and, 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 get the, and get the deal done. 
There's Jackie Bradley. There's Jackie Bradley Jr. Rookie auto. Jackie Bradley Jr. Going to the Red Sox. That'll be for Bill. Bill DeVrosian. Yeah, I mean, why would I support... I mean, I'd rather support millionaire players than billionaire owners. You know? I don't know if that makes me the man of the people, but... There's Andrew Taylor to 750. So, I don't know what's going to happen with baseball. There's already the collective bargaining agreement that's going to happen after the end of the 2021 season. And I think that was already going to be contentious. You know, and it looks like it's just spilling over into this right here already. You know, veteran players don't want to give up leverage, you know, because maybe that means they give up more leverage when they have to collectively bargain again. You know, ownership, you know, they are going to battle their, it's out of 500, Will Myers. Nice. Rookie Will Myers, Tampa Bay Rays. It's pretty nice. That goes to uh, Brett with the Rays. Well, yeah, but that's kind of how the players have branded themselves, Brian Zeller. As overpaid and greedy. It doesn't help that Blake Snell said those things a couple weeks ago. So that just, that just gives, you know, that gives people more fuel for the fire. All ball, baseball players, overpaid, ungrateful, you know. But, I mean, the owner is ownership any better? But, yeah, I mean, it is shocking how many people side with owners. We got Alan Webster. Now, this is an expired redemption. Uh, and I think back in 2013, Red Sox. Do I have a pen here? So that goes to uh, Chris, I think, in the Cubs. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill and the Red Sox, that is. Bill, said, Bill, Bill uh, DeVrosian says he doesn't think he'll, we'll see baseball this year. Yeah, I'm... Initially, I thought from just a safety perspective... I was like, oh yeah, baseball will be the one of the one of the first to come back. They'll be fine. It's huge stadiums, outdoor, in the summer, you know, you can socially distance and all that sort of stuff. Then I completely forgot about the fact that the players and owners have hated each other since the nineties, since forever. I don't think there's been an era where where players have gone along with the owners. But that's the thing, yeah. Now ownership will use this to get ahead in the CBA. Billionaire owners crying poor. No one's selling their teams though. Such bad business. Why aren't why aren't teams? So there's a little irony there. But then again, if you don't have revenue, I mean, it's tough. But at at certain point, there just has to be there just has to be something that's just for the good of the people. You know what I mean? Fans like us. You know. Because what happened when baseball was canceled in the mid '90s? It took a, it took a minute or two. It took it took baseball turning a blind eye to roids and allowing Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa go bananas in the home run market to bring fans back. But, I don't know. I mean, but players also have to compromise, too. So it's crazy. I did not see what the A's owner did. What did the A's owner did? That's right. Nike wants that to happen because they got a New Jersey license this year. It's Frank Thomas to 149. So everyone wants baseball to happen. Hi, Logan. Yeah, uh, Jason's finishing up dinner. And he'll be back on soon. He's allowed to eat, right, Logan? <laughs> the pee. I know, seriously. Logan's just like, where's Instagram? 
Seven out of ten, Greg Bird. Rated rookie autograph. I'm teasing Logan. Logan was wasn't didn't say it like that, Jason. <laughs> I just made it sound really bad. Rated rookie autograph, Greg Bird, Yankees. Put a bird on it. That goes to Jimmy Brandt. Jock Peterson, green, out of five. Nice. For the Dodgers, that goes to Brian Zeller in Los Angeles. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Fan fear. I'm glad they kept Jock. Oh, the A's decide to uh, not pay all their minor leaguers? And maybe A's are one of the few teams that maybe aren't in the position to have billionaire owners. There's Fred Lynn. Significant signatures. Nice. Old Red Sox legend. Fred Lynn going to Bill and the Bo Sox. Yeah. This is going to hurt the hurt the minor leaguers probably the most. But I don't know. I mean, what's let's actually get to 20, 19? We have any, anything else older? Chronicles is twenty. Are we all in kind of current years? How about that Bowman's best. Hmm. Looks like we are. All right. Ooh, Brian Zeller, you'll always remember your first Big Hit Express train whistle. It's like first love, first cr first crush, first kiss, Big Hit Express, first train whistle, first child, first born, Big Hit Express. It's all it's all right up there. First arrest. <laughs> it's all right up there. Memories. Never you'll never forget. Chris Maxwell, Joe, you're biased, but do the Dodgers get Mookie in 21 if there's no season? <laughs> well, they better try. I think they better try really hard to do so. But Dodgers have traditionally been reluctant to give out big contracts for free agents. Mark doesn't think the Dodgers will. They're, they've trended to not giving away big contracts, right? They didn't pay Machado. Right, see, that's what I'm getting to. Yeah, I think you're right. They kind of have to with this guy. This guy's different. This isn't Manny Machado. I like Manny Machado, but it's not Manny Machado. It's, right, it's not Bryce Harper. You know, They'll pay their homegrown guys. They paid Kershaw. They'll pay their homegrown guys. But their free agents are always reluctant to. But well, right, Kershaw will be Kershaw will be off the books in three years. Kenley Jansen's big contracts off the books. Justin Turner's getting older. I love him, but but he, a lot of money's going to get freed up for the Dodgers over the years. Now, okay, that's the other thing. If Mookie just doesn't want to, that's a different story. You know. So, but I I think the, I think the Dodgers are gonna are gonna make him a big offer. They got a lot of money coming off the books. They got a good young core coming up the ranks, and I think, I think they're gonna wanna, they're gonna, they're gonna go big on Mookie Betts. Now, if he just says no, I can't stop that. That's the thing. But I don't know. People say that, but like you can live in you can live in El Monte and not feel like it's L.A. You know what I mean? Like you can live in like he could go to Sherman Oaks. He can live in Ventura and it wouldn't even feel like L.A. There's a lot of L.A. is a big place. That's why I think Mike Trout never left. I think he loves... He could live in Orange County. He loves Orange County. He loves his all... Suburban. Yeah. Mookie could live in Orange County. Kobe lived in Orange County. Right. Just on helicopter. So, like, people say L.A. life, but it's not like we're... If you're a Dodger, you're not forced to live in uh, <laughs> live in Hollywood. 
you know, downtown LA. You know, Manhattan Beach really is really chill. That's just a little bit north of us. Mookie come come and hang out at the card shop. Break some cases with us. We live in Palos Verdes where Kenley Jansen lives. That's a nice area. You know, you don't you don't really have to live like the life. Save some of those Aquinos and foil cards and whatnot. This is 2020 Series 1. You think he ends up in Atlanta? I feel like Atlanta's got to pay a lot of guys, don't they? Is Albies locked up yet? I know they give Acuna or Albies a big, a big deal. I mean, I feel like they got a lot of young players coming up the ranks. Oh, maybe they will. I don't know. Who are the big Mookie Betts players, I guess? Because it's a, it's a limited group. Basically, it comes down to who can pay Mookie Betts. And then it comes down to, of the teams who can pay Mookie Betts, who really needs Mookie Betts to get to the next level. You're not paying him that much unless you're, I guess, close to the close to World Series level. Sean thinks, I honestly think Mookie rest best free agent no matter what. It, he'll take the largest con. So he's just going to take, oh, test free agency. He's going to take the long, the, I should have kept reading. <laughs> we'll go with the biggest contract regardless of where, who it's from. Yanks? I don't know, they got a lot of money on the books too. And I don't think Aaron Judge has got his, got his contract yet. And they're, they're, how long how long are they paying Giancarlo Sand? Paying him for a while too. I could see the Sox getting him back, but he's in Nashville right now. Says Mark loves being at home. I don't know. I mean, Trout loves being at home, but he still he signed a big deal with Los Angeles. Sometimes being Playing for the home team isn't all that's cracked up to be. A lot of people coming out of the woodworks. Where's my free ticket? Let's go out. Come and do this. You know, come and do do car commercial. You want to come by and say hi at my restaurant? It'd be really great, Mookie, if you would come by. You know. I think Mookie wants to win too, right? I would argue the Dodgers are a little bit closer than the Braves are. We'll make sure all the rookie cards out of here definitely ship. And this series one is a little bulky, but and there's Brian Reynolds, baseball stars autograph. Almost the, the last card here, Pirates. That's going to go to Chris Maxwell. No doubt. In the few interviews, Mark, that I've seen, Mark saying he's the kind of Guy that'll give you the shirt off his back. His his interviews have been excellent. Really down to earth dude. Really nice guy. There's Kyle Lewis, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Max Kepler, Whit Merrifield. Kevin Crouch is really thinking. Well, what's your reasoning, Kevin? Do they? I, I guess they have the money. They can go over the tax. And then pay everybody else. Where does he play? I guess he put him in center field. Give him that Jacoby money. Here's 2019. Let's just keep snagging boxes out of here. I don't know. Legacy? 
I, I don't know Mookie Betts, but... I don't know. I mean, it's legacy. Why not just go back to the Red Sox? I can see that happening more than I can see the Yankees. All right, they got a lot of guys to pay, too. Right, they just got Aaron H Yeah, got Hicks to pay for, Aaron Judge, Glaber Day. Got to re-sign LeMahieu. Right, 30 years of Stanton's contract that they've got to pay him. And no one's doing the Yankees any favors and eating money on that contract, right? Not unless they're sending prospects the other way, but... Right, you don't want to block Jason Dominguez in the outfield either, correct? And eventually you'll have to pay him. I mean, unless you move, like, Dominguez to first, right? I mean, they could make it work, for, for sure. But I feel like they I feel like they want to put that money into... Like, hitting is not a problem for the Yankees. You know? I feel like they, they got to work on that pitching. Right? I'm, a, I'm not super sharp on baseball right now just because it hasn't been happening. Usually I'm on top of this stuff every day, but... Oh, they got Garrett Cole, right. All right. But Tanaka's not getting any younger. Jay Happ, Jordan Montgomery, Loizaga, Paxton, Domingo Herman, and I think, what, Luis Severino is Tommy John, right? Got a, got a little, lot of little, little work on the on the pitching staff though. I don't think hitting is a problem. He's out of one fifty k. The Mookie Mookie Betts is almost like a luxury item for them. There's Garrett Hampson, rated rookie. Rockies. That'll be for Kenneth. We got Victor Victor Mesa, rated prospect autograph. This is someone to keep an eye on. I think I think a lot of people can buy low on on this guy. He's coming up the ranks. That's for the Marlins. That'll be for Johnny Cannon. That's a stash. That's a good stash. Ryan O'Hearn, pink velocity to 199. Right, throwing these cards all over the place. Uh, rookie Walker Bueller for a second. Kevin Newman, hollow. There's hollow Mike Trout. Vintage, what's going on? Uh, they should be sometime this week. All that Bowman, it takes a minute or two. Speaking of well, let's, speaking of Bowman, let's do that 2018 Bowman draft. But you'll get a tracking number as soon as the label is printed for that, and then out it goes. And then however long it takes the U.S. Postal Service to get it to you, it's going to take a while. Postal Service been slammed, but. It'll be there. If you were in a break, say Friday or Saturday, we'll probably get a lot of that out soon. This week. Thursday or Friday, maybe. What day is today? Wednesday? But most of the weekend stuff will be will be next week. Or uh, will be over the next couple days or so. Ooh, Rob. We had, we, had, we had one of our buddies 
set up over there too. How did how did they how did the social distancing go, Rob, at Frankenstein's? We had our we had our friend Eric set up there. We'll talk to him about that when he gets back, but. Wow, there was at least 2,000 people there. You got in on the first wave. Did they social distance everybody in the parking lot and everybody inside? Eric was saying there was only one-way travel. So everyone's just kind of going in the same direction so you can properly socially distance that way. When you left two hours later, the line was still around the building. All right. Hopefully everybody was wearing face masks and were being healthy. Things have got to open though. Oh, everyone was close. All right, I figured. Things have got to open though. You can't keep the you can't keep our economy down like this. You know what I mean? Like it's just. All right, this is a uh, super jumbo from 2018, Bowman Draft. All right, so no paper, of course. So should I separate the paper out? I think I will. I think those aren't, yeah, those refractors aren't numbered on the back. Maybe if they're autos, they will. But obviously, numbered paper like Jeremiah Jackson will ship. There's Jake Wong, 97 out of 486, kind of an odd number, goes to Louie and the Giants. It's like a third third round pick. All paper. Ryan Jeffers, Speckle. Uh, did I pull you a Tiger Auto out of Exquisite, Mark? That's nice. Uh, I have to admit, I didn't watch the match with Phil and Brady and Tiger and Peyton. Was it was, was that was that any good? Was it good TV? I know there was some good trash talking. I just wish that it was like, I wish it was on like cable or HBO or something. So I want to hear cursing. I want to hear them betting a thousand dollars a hole. I, I want all that. You know, like they really would do if there weren't cameras following them. Mark and Mark said it was, it was fun. Jay said it was good. Most watched cable TV golf event in history. Should have been on HBO. Should have been on HBO. I want cursing. I want beer guzzling. There's Logan Gilbert to 150. Oh, they need MJ in there? Right. I want to hear the cursing, Jay. They got to get they got to get it on HBO next time. HBO Sports has to pay up for it. I want to see them pay up for it. There's Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. That'll be for Mike McCarthy. It'd be great to have MJ in there. Are Peyton and Brady better than Michael Jordan at golf? I have no I've I've never seen him play. What's what's the word? 
What's the word on the streets? Uh, there's Paven Smith, four ninety nine. I've seen, I've seen like TMZ track down like Michelle Wee, and she, she had mentioned that she has taken Jordan for a lot of money. There's Luke and Baker, Cardinals, Christian Woodland, with the Luke and Baker, Cardinals. Facsimile autograph. I gotta catch up on that Lance Armstrong thing too. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Mark, Mark's, Mark's in the biz. He'll be able to let us know. All right, there's Dane Dunning for the White Sox to 402. Jeremy Agno. Kevin says both Deese and MJ worse than their handicaps, I think, though. Brian says Peyton's really good. Brady, like, a, I, I don't know what those indexes are. I don't know enough golf on that. All right, we got Taryn Vavra. You are due to receive a Chrome draft pick autograph, refractor parallel of Bryce Turing. That's for the uh, Brewers. Hi, Tom. I dropped a schedule, but I don't think there's, there's only one break after this. Select. If there's anything else that's sold out on that list that's not on the schedule, then we'll go through orders after this mixer and we'll, we'll add to the schedule. There you go. Brew Crew, that'll be for Kevin. Let's get this mega box going here. Mark saying, I'm assuming it's, co it's the correct Jordan. He hasn't posted a score since 2013. Sounds about right. And it was a 1.3 index. So what's the scale? The index scale. Is it? What's the range? So I get an idea of what that is. Oh, zero zeros if you're zero makes you a scratch golfer. Peyton's like a six. Jordan, 1.3. All right, all right, interesting. All right. Well, where's, where's Romo at? Why does Michelle Wee follow your seven-year-old son? I, f I feel like it's your seven-year-old son is following Michelle Wee and then like was just automatically added. All right, this is 2019 Donner's Baseball Mega Box. Could, could Peyton go on, if Peyton's like a six, could he go on tour? Maybe be competitive? Make a couple cuts? Has he tried? I think all these pink parallels, they're not numbered, but they will ship. And the fireworks one as well. Oh, 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 I see, I see. So there are the numbers and then there are plus numbers? All right. I got I to gotta look up this, this index stuff. I don't understand this at all. And we got Signature Series, Sean Reed Foley. 
pink fireworks pattern, Blue Jays, Redding. Darren with the Blue Jays. work on that Chronicles. Chronicles staring at me in the face. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The plus, no, the plus number is good. A number without a plus not as good. So what about if so if Steph's a plus two? Oh, but Mark was saying you got to get to maybe plus five ish to get to pro level. All right, fair enough. Fair play. Fair play. I'm wrapping my head around it now. Welcome to Golf Talk. Here in the middle of our 16 box, the Kid Baseball Mixer Random Team Break, Wednesday the 27th. Big thanks to everybody for getting in. We got Brett Kennedy. 83 out of 99 for the Friars, Chris Maxwell and the Padres. And Vla oh, thought there was that's a good spot for an autograph, Panini. Two-color triple relic for Darren Redding and the Blue Jays. That's it. Yeah, Mark has access to this information, so if there's any other handicaps you want to look up. Now, now's the time. Framber Valdez, 19 out of 99, America's pastime autograph for the Astros. Kevin. Charles Barkley, that's a good one. Kopech to 99. Robinson Cano to 49. It's the New York Mets edition. Nikki Lopez. So what is this you're looking up, Mark? There's Sean Murphy for the Oakland A's. Like you report your scores to accredited golf courses and they'll log them in to 49. I don't know. I don't know how this world, this part of the world, works. I should get into golfing. I should golf. I'm gonna work on my miniature golf course. All right. Uh, let's see. Should I do maybe that best back there? Sure. Alex Miller, thanks. Yeah, we got pretty good production quality here at Jaspies. Uh, is that Noir Three full? I'm 43 minutes into an hour plus mixer here, so I haven't had a chance to look at any of the orders after this, so sometime after this and after I go through orders. We break until about midnight LA time, 3 a.m. East Coast, so whatever's sold out, I'm sure we'll, we'll get to all of it tonight at some point. And I'll have a more accurate schedule a little bit later. We have to do the miniature golf course. Yeah, Kevin Kraft. I'm. I'm. I've been. I've been doing some light research on uh, on how to build a golf course and build my build my natural grass miniature golf course. What, what am I not playing, Matt McRae? Yeah, natural grass miniature golf. You gotta wear golf shoes. And all that. No rules. Yeah. 
light research. I mean, I bought like a book of an atlas of golf courses around the world. Just to see how legs get dogged and everything. There's Jordan Adams to 150. You get a good idea of courses around the world. Features. Kind of grass they use. It's, it's, it's a big coffee table book. It's actually really cool. There's Josh Young. So it's actually, I guess the coffee table book's kind of heavy. The big prospect here for the Ranger that goes to Mac McCarthy. So maybe it's, heavy, maybe it's heavy research. But yeah, I'm going to design a natural grass miniature golf course. I think I'm going to put it in Vegas. Ooh! Weren't we talking about Mike Trout autographs? 21 out of 25 out of one freaking box of Bowman's Best Baseball. Mike Trout Atomic Auto, 21 out of 25. Nicholas Kasberg with the Angels. He bought the last spot straight up. Woo! What a mixer. Having fun, talking golf, talking basketball, watching Kobe's farewell game, pulling Mike Trout autographs, no big deal. No big deal. Oh, that was just dust. I thought there was a smear on the autograph. No, it was just dust on the top loader. Pretty nice. Nick Casper once again picked up the last spot straight up. It was Griffin Canning. Mike's teammate. Redemption. Any guesses on this redemption? Royce Lewis behind Royce. Best of 2019 autograph of. Zeller wants a Kershaw redemption. It's going to be M. Mike Trout. Michael. Michael Chavis. Michael Bush. Dodgers. Prospect. So it is a Dodger, Brian Zeller. Not not the Kershaw you're looking for, but but uh, the draftee, 2019 draftee, Michael Bush. Pa, I think third corner corner infielder, third baseman. I want to say. Um, corner infielder. I want to say. Maybe possible future Justin Turner. I hope so too. I think he was either I forget, they had two Dodgers had two first round picks late. I think it was uh I think either Cody Hosey or Michael Bush, one of those two guys. They were the first round picks. And one of them was a uh like a, a compensatory pick in between the first and third round or first and second round. One or the other. It's supposed to be pretty Supposed to be pretty good. Dodgers tend to tend to uh, Dodgers tend to draft pretty well though. So I mean, they drafted Walker Buehler. That was like a mid first round pick. I'm hoping so. Could be a nice young core for the Dodgers. We got Taryn Vavra, 40 out of 250, purple chrome autograph for the Rocks, Kenneth.
Out of 499, we got Ryan Feltner. Luis Robert to 150. Arizona Fall League Atomic going to Jeremy Agno and the White Sox. And we've got for the Yankees, we've got Isaiah Gilliam. Yankees, that'll be for Jimmy Brandt. And there's Bo Bichette, Purple Shimmer, not numbered. Cano and Otani. All right. Let's get 2020, the most recent 2020 select going right here. Not a good Lakers team. I don't think I remember seeing any. There's Mookie Betts. We were talking about him earlier. Still Red Sox edition here. Oh, he is in this. All right. I think he is in this. Bill with the Red Sox. Nico Herner, one out of 50. And we got... Uh, Domingo Leba for the Diamondbacks. Michael King with the Snakes. Feels like that Cubs raise trade was so long ago. It was about 52 minutes ago. Still time to see what happens. At the end, 92 out of 99. Got to play to the whistle, folks. We're almost there. We got Jonathan Hernandez for Tejas, the Rangers. That'll be for Mike McCarthy. Won that spot. Lourdes Gurriel to 199. And Aaron Saval, Indians. Darren Redding, 44 out of 199. All right, we've got Inception right here, 2018 Inception Baseball. That was when they put that sticker over, I guess, the odds must have been incorrect, right? There must have been significant enough of a typo somewhere for them to, to sticker that up. Right, so there should be two on the bottom and then the, then the autograph. All right. Matt Olson, Rafael Devers to 150. And behind Miguel Andujar is a Rocky. It's Herman Marquez, 217 out of 230 for the Rocks. Kenneth. Yeah, 
All right. Oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be done real fast. All of a sudden, it's gonna be over quickly. Clearly authentic one in case card in here. It's Cole Tucker. Rookie acetate auto right there. You can see see his autograph there. Pirates, Chris Maxwell. Six autographs in 2019 Leaf Metal Draft Baseball. All right, I think these are in their college gear, so we're going to have to look these guys up. Um, I don't think there's a checklist for this, is there? So I think we're going to have to go with our usual non-pro uniform rules, which will be the same for this baseball right here. If there's no checklist for it, it'll go to the team that they played for the long... Well, actually, there won't be any retired players in here. It's go to go to the team they're currently on. They have a flash check. Oh, no, they do have a checklist. Groupbreakchecklist.com has done God's work. All right, there we go. So we're going by, I'm going to drop the link in the chat. We're going to go by the 2019 Leaf Metal Draft Baseball checklist from uh, groupbreakchecklist.com. Good resource. All right, we got Ryan Nelson, 44 out of 50. He sounds like a cub. Only because Ryan Sandberg spells his name like that. He is a Diamondback. So that will go to Ari, Arizona. We got JJ Blade. I know, I know where he goes. He goes to the Marlins. Two out of fifteen. Top picks, number four. That's right, fourth overall. He's pretty good. Pretty good prospect, I should say. Hopefully he becomes a big leaguer and is successful. That's what Johnny Cannon is hoping, be, hoping because he has the Marlins. Next up is Will Wilson. Three out of 20. Might still be an angel in this checklist. He got traded, though, to the Giants, I think. Oh, no. Checklist has him as a Giant. Okay, so it's... They've, they've updated it. All right, San Francisco with that one. That'll be for Louie and the Giants. We got lovely state pride design. Reese Hines, who I think is a red. Reese Hines is a Cincinnati red leg. 10 out of 15. Ooh, and a plate. An autograph. It's Drew Jameson. Mmm, Jameson. Drew Jameson is, or Dre Jameson is a Diamondback. So Arizona with another one, Michael King. And we've got Alec Manoa, who I'm pretty sure is a big Blue Jays prospect. Five out of five, he is. That goes to Darren Redding. All aboard the Big Hit Express, Darren. Whoop, whoop. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. There you go. Usually the, the biggest name ends up on the... The bottom there. There you go. Nice Alec Manoa. How about some five star? A couple nice autographs in here. You put your thinking caps on for Who Am I? America's favorite game. The game that's been sweeping the nation. And we got Danny Jansen. Another. Autograph for Darren Redding. Two in a row. He's heating up. Is he... 
Is he the catcher that got in trouble recently for... For, you know, doing inappropriate things in... No, it's the other catcher, right? It's the other Blue Jays catcher? Anyway, it's a family show. Let's not talk about that. All right, and we got a Dodger. Max Muncy, 19 out of 50. Nice Max Muncy for Brian Zeller. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. Love Max Muncy. Completely changed his swing, revamped his approach. Sometimes you need that. Maybe a little, a little late in his career, but hey, better late than never. He's a productive ball player. I think he got a two or three year deal with the Dodgers recently, so he's, he's getting paid. So good for him. Yeah, I gotta appreciate what he did to improve. When he was on the A's, look, watch, you'll see, you can look up highlights. Watch, uh, watch him with, with Oakland. And he's just kind of, even if you don't know too much about baseball, you can see like his feet are positioned weird. There's a weird leg kick, his bat hand position everywhere. It's all, it's all over the place, you know, flailing at pitches and just bad pitch recognition and bad, you know, all that sort of stuff. But, you know, I think he was going to quit. It's one of those, like he was going to quit. His dad said, no way. And then just kind of retrain with some hitting coaches. And All right. This guy's a Hall of Famer. Who am I? I got into the Hall of Fame on the 14th ballot with 79.9% of the vote. A two-time All-Star, 10-time top 10 ERA leader, 3,701 Ks, a 20-game winner, 17 10-plus win seasons. What else do I have here? A two-time World Series champion, one in the late 70s and one in the late 80s. The one in the late 70s was with the Pirates, I think, and the one in the late 80s was with the, uh, was with the Twins. And one-time Ailes uh, strikeout leader, a no-hitter, Played for one, two, three, four, five teams my entire career, and this one team twice. No, someone who shouldn't be in the hall says Mark. Fourteenth? I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, Brian Peebles got it. Nice, good guess. What 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 tipped you off? It's Burt Blylevin. Yeah, Chris Maxwell got it too. There he is. Listen, he's a, he's a Hall of Famer. What are you going to do? All right. There's the JSA right here. Relax. Hang on, Steve. I'm in the middle of something. And there is the Burt Blylevin. Right there. Oh, that's, his, that's a no-hitter inscription right there. On the 22nd, 1977. There it is right here. All right, there's the autograph right there. Nice. So this goes to the team that he played for the longest. It has to be the Twins. He was on the Twins twice. Let's go to baseballreference.com here. Oh, length of time was the best clue for you, Brian Peters. All right. Burt Blylevin played for the Twins. Yeah, 11... 11 seasons, 11 of his 22 years was with the Twins, five seasons with the Indians, three with the uh, Pirates, and three with the California Angels, two with the, uh, with the Texas Rangers. And looked like um, only three seasons in the NL, mostly an AL guy. So there you go. Uh, Mike McCarthy, Mac, with the Twins. All right, there you go. All right, we'll put all that stuff in here. This is 
part of the kid mixer right here. Mark says, I don't have a strong opinion on it, but hey, if it takes 14 years, people to decide if you should be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I agree. I feel like I feel like they got to... I agree with Brian, too. I don't... I actually haven't thought of any like specific ways to change something in Hall of Fame voting, but something's got to something's got to be different. All right, this is not this doesn't go to the Padres, by the way. That is a randomizer. It's for funsy. I don't know why I'm randomizing. This doesn't really matter, but <laughs> it's just such a goofy chicken. All right, yeah. Thanks, Chris. This is a good. That was a very good mixer. Really well balanced between. Base heavy stuff and high end stuff, and the Ken Griffey Jr. will be randomized to someone in the break. All right, let's flip back to this list right here. Actually, let's go back to grab the uh, list of players, list of people. You guys are players. Michael King down to Brian Zeller, and everybody in between. And the name on top gets the kid, second name gets the famous San Diego chicken. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. One and a three, four times. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> McCarthy's saying, that's not goofy chicken, that's the San Diego chicken. I met him at the, uh, the National in Chicago not too long ago. All right, after four, five, Four, three, chicken for Chris and the kid, Christian. What Christian? I don't think I called your name out all break. What team did you have? Now you won the spot, so you saved a bunch of money. But you had the Cardinals. I don't think I don't think there was a single hit for you. Maybe one, some random cardinal at the beginning, out of elite, maybe. Yeah, it wasn't a very good break for Christian Wood. Let's be honest here, wasn't a very good break for him. But the Ken Griffey Jr. will go to him. That is strong, awesome. And Chris, there you go. All right, thanks everybody. That was the 16 box, the Kid Baseball Mixer. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. Congrats again to Christian. Really appreciate everybody getting in. Um, we'll see you next time for the next break. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.